right, good morning, everybody. Happy. Friday. We made it. All right, so here's a quick look at our clouds. You can start to see it right now. This is our Malibu camera, and you're looking at the clouds kind of moving inland a little bit more, and that's because we do have a little bit more of that sea breeze. So a lot of our beach communities will still stay under some cloudy conditions as we head into the afternoon, and a lot of the clouds have also moved really far inland to a lot of our inland communities. All right, so here's a quick look at what's happening right now. 60 degrees for the Malibu area. This is where we're seeing all the clouds, and some areas a little dense than others, and that's why we did see some drizzle earlier this morning. So we're down to about a mile for Temecula, less than a mile for Marietta and also Hemet. This is where we're seeing some of the thicker clouds and then less than two miles for Claremont. Two miles of visibility for Burbank, less than um, or less than four miles, that is, for the Simi Valley area. And then we're looking at clear skies over the Antelope Valley. So the beaches, unfortunately, will still stay cloudy pretty much all morning. Some areas may not clear at all. But what we're really watching for is the patch of dense fog, depending on where you live. So it may take some time for some areas to clear. But once we start to see some clearing inland, we're going to see more sunshine and a few degrees cooler today. So that relief is arriving just a little bit earlier. And then we're going to continue to feel the cool down as we head into the weekend as the marine layer starts to deepen up because it shrank the last couple of days just because of all the heat that we've been experiencing from that high pressure system. So this morning we're waking up to temperatures basically west of the mountains in the 50s and 60s. We do have temperatures in the mid 70s just because they were topping out in the triple digits yesterday. So Palmdale broke a record back to back for the last couple of days. Right now, Lancaster, as I mentioned, nice and comfy, 74. So could Palmdale break another record? So Wednesday came in at 105, breaking an old record of 103. Yesterday came in at 103. Today, it doesn't look like we'll break that record because we're only looking at a forecast high of 96. The old record to break was 105. But at least some relief is arriving to a lot of folks in the Antelope Valley. But we still have the extreme heat taking place for the Antelope Valley and also for areas like uh, the Victor Valley, the Mojave Desert. So the Antelope Valley, you're still under heat advisory because some areas could top out at triple digits. Everywhere else, the high deserts and the low deserts still really hot, 102 to 109. High pressure is leaving us, so this is what's cooling things down, bringing back that sea breeze and also thickening up the marine layer. So this is going to last for the next few days, even as we head into the start of next week. So by Monday, get ready for more drizzle in the morning. Same thing, every morning of next week, we could see some patchy drizzle and fog along with all that June gloom. So temperatures are going to roughly stay in the 70s for LA and Orange County, but we're getting down to slightly below average until Sunday, and then we finally hit closer to normal by next week. For the valleys, 81 today, dropping to the upper 70s for the weekend, and then for the Inland Empire, upper 80s also today. All right, let's take a look at the roadways. We are looking at some activity starting to pick up, especially in our usual problem spots, but still that Friday morning light. Uh, we do have that SIG alert still taking place on the southbound 5 before 10 Templin Highway, we have a big rig that hit a car or crashed into a car, caused some fires, and so they're trying to pull that big rig off the freeway. Now, we thought that two lanes were going to open at 7 a.m. They've extended it to 9 a.m., so give yourself some extra time because it's going to take you more than an hour and a half just to get through with a couple lanes open for the southbound 5 at Pyramid Lake to Templin Highway. Otherwise, we have another crash that we want to tell you about. This is a new one, actually. Southbound 14 at Placerita Canyon. The HOV lane is blocked here. Here. And then we also are starting to see um, the drive time not bad right now. 15 minutes from the westbound 91 to the 15 to the 241 this morning. And then we are looking at uh, the Inland Empire looking pretty good. And then once we head a little bit more north to the high desert locations, northbound 15 at Oak Hill to Joshua, alternating lane closures, left lane closed until 7 a.m. Back to you guys. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.